Hey everybody, Joe Simpson here joining in this afternoon. Wanted to share a product with you that I am kind of excited to tell you about. It's nothing new. It's been around for a long time, um, but it's a really cool product. And you might be thinking that I'm talking on my Yeti because you can see it right here in the screen, but actually I'm using the Samson Go mic. And that's a little portable mic that you can take with you. Um, you can pack it in a bag, it travels easily, or you can even use it on your desk. It's a very, very cool mic. It's about, I don't know, eight, nine inches away from my mouth right now. And it's definitely an alternative to the Yeti. And compared to other USB mics, it's a good option. A couple of things that this microphone can do, it can do a cardioid pattern, which is basically a pattern in the front and it refuses sound from the sides and the rear. And it can also do an omnidirectional pattern where it can pick up the front and the back. So if you're doing like a, a recording between two people, you'll hear the dialogue from both sides. There's really nothing spectacular about it from a feature standpoint. It does have a headphone monitoring jack, but it's a 3.5 mil, so it's little. Um, everything about it is kind of small. You can take it and fold it up into a little clip and put it away in your bag and take it with you. So if you're doing some laptop recordings or you're on the road, you don't have to lug around the big microphone with all the recorders and all the different things. Um, if you need something that's super high end, it's probably not the mic for you, but you can get this mic on Amazon, I think everywhere for about 39 bucks. So that puts it right in the pocket for high quality. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple readings um, of a couple of different things just to give you guys a sample of what it sounds like. It is not behind a pop filter, so I'm gonna to try to stay back away from it and not over, you know, stress the uh, pickups. But let me go ahead and read, oh boy. Let me go ahead and read some of this stuff. Oh boy, look like a murderer. This is at about, I don't know, nine inches. A copy of this permit must be posted at the construction site for the duration of the permit. This is the Yeti at about eight or nine inches from my face. A copy of the permit must be posted at the construction site for the duration of the permit. So I'm gonna put this at about 18 inches away now. A copy of this permit must be posted at the construction site for the duration of the permit. Now I'm gonna do the Yeti at 18 inches away. A copy of the permit must be posted at the construction site for the duration of the permit. All right. Now I'm gonna get a little closer and I'm gonna to try to not make it pop. A copy of this permit must be posted at the construction site for the duration of the permit. Now I'm gonna do the Yeti at about close range, six inches. A copy of the permit must be posted at the construction site for the duration of the permit. But anyway, that should give you an idea of what it sounds like um, being read with some dialogue at close range, medium range, and far range. Um, but it is really a, a quite capable mic. It's one of the ones I bought early on when I started doing some YouTubing and some video work, um, and it sounded quite nice. Uh, I do like the Yeti because it's got a bigger base. It's, it's made of metal. It sits on the desk better. It just seems to be more solid. But honestly, I don't know that there's all that much difference from one to the other. Thanks for coming to my channel today and listening to the comparison between the Samson Go mic and the Blue Yeti. Um, let me know which one you like best. Uh, right up here, click on that and vote. Um, and just let me know which one you think sounds better. Also, uh, let's do a comparison of either black rim glasses or silver rim glasses. Let me know which one you like. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. And thanks again for coming along. Peace.